Greetings, Space Cadets. I'm Colonel Failure, and you're coming with me to my planet base. Yes, indeed. I'm all about building things, as you know. And today, we're going to be building something in planet base. Uh, and if it's suitably entertaining, I'll be building more things in planet base. To be honest, I've got a lot of things to build. I'm supposed to be building a prison. I'm supposed to be building a tropical island fortress. That's as well as building my train set and, and playing with Lego and making a city. Uh, I've got lots and lots and lots of things that I want to play. Uh, but anyway, planet base, here we go. Rock and roll. Uh, we'll kick off on easy. Uh, base name. No chance of failure. No chance of faha. Hmm. Let's call it no chance. Uh, let's go. Uh, so it's a class D planet. Uh, thick CO2 atmosphere, protects it from meteors and solar flares. They're, they're throwing underarm for this one. So I've played through the tutorial uh, once, so uh, I'm, I'm a, a complete expert. I know everything there is to know. Uh, here we go, landing time. Trot on. Uh, I don't know if this is early access or not. I suspect it isn't. I suspect they've taken the bold move of actually saying that this game is ready. Uh, certainly, from what I've seen so far, uh, it's got uh, it's got plenty of merit to it. It seems to be, you know, relatively robust. Um, but it might be early access. I'll, I'll have, <laughs> it's the sort of thing I should check, isn't it? Um, I'll have a look before I do another episode. If I do another episode, what I've seen of it so far, it is very much like a game called uh, Space Colony. If you've uh, if you've ever played such things. Um, Right, okay, let's, uh, I, I might cover Space Colony at some point, I've got the HD version. So first things first, we want an oxygen generator. Bang, oxygen generator. Now an oxygen generator alone is not going to be any good, so we're going to, uh, we're going to need a bit of, uh, why can't I build power yet? Oh, because that's an outside building. We need an exterior structure, so we'll, uh, we'll get a solar panel up, although I kind of suspect, uh, that, uh, with the, uh, the the heavy CO2 uh, atmosphere, that uh, that solar might not be my best source of power. I suspect wind might be it. So I'm going to get that going as well. Now, in order to get your buildings hooked up, you want to uh, link them like that, and then your your chaps will all start plumbing that in. And uh, I also need exploding noise over there. That doesn't sound helpful. We'll put a power collector up. Uh, power collectors, they basically ensure that your uh, your power supply um, at night is not interrupted if you're running off nothing but solar. So I'm going to get one of those in place and we'll connect that up. Uh, now, I, you know, I'm going to plonk a lot of stuff down and then uh, we'll uh, we'll probably have to wait for uh, my, my construction team to uh, to get things done. It's chucking me hints, but I suspect I know the answer. Let's have a look. Power grid. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll read that if it, if it becomes important to do so. So we've got power. Uh, we've got our O2 being generated, or we would have if I had uh, water harvesting. So here we go. Water extraction. And I think... Is this, gonna, is this wise, do we think? Yeah, I think it probably is wise. I'm going to go with a larger water collector. So off the mouse wheel, you can uh, you can change the scale of uh, of each object as you go. Now the only thing that I'm not mad keen on so far is is there is a minimum distance that you can place things. You know, I'd be tempted to put those right next to each other, but hey, you know, we'll go with what we go with. Can I connect the two? There we go. There we go. So we are going to be generating power galore. Uh, so that should keep me relatively sane on a power basis for some time. Next task, however, is to get an airlock so that my, my happy-go-lucky citizens, space cadets, let's call them what they are, can, uh, can get with the program. Right, okay, I'm going to let that stuff get built. Let's uh, up the tempo. Come on, chaps, get to work. Now, we have a limited number of supplies, and so far I haven't figured out... What's that? We're getting some, yeah, we're getting a bit of meteor strike action going on. What's going on? What? Yes? Yes? Yes, I don't, I'm not, yeah, I know. I have oxygen generators out of water. Well, I've only just built the water thing. Okay, people can now get inside. Now, there is always a queue that forms, slow back down again. A queue that forms to get into, uh, 
into the main habitat. Uh, right, let's let's get some essentials. They're going to want to eat, I suppose, aren't they? So let's get them a, a canteen up. The other thing that I haven't found yet is whether you can. Uh, Is, is which buildings can have multiple connections coming off them and which are dead ends. I haven't found a button that says, uh, or I haven't found an overlay that says whether they've got a, what's a T, T connection? Yes, I don't know which ones can have multiple connections coming off them. So if I were to, if I were to put the dorm over there, because, you know, people, people going to want to sleep. There we go. But we'll figure that out. Apparently, the dorm is is one of those that uh, that is a dead end. Anyway, while while they're building that, let's have a, let's have a quick scout round here. We don't have all the space in the world, which is odd, given that we're the only inhabitants of this world. Uh, so let's see how far can we go. Okay, we've got a fair bit of space. The tricky bit's going to be able to is going to be you know building any kind of a connection between the two bases, or maybe you can build. No, no, no. It insists that you have a connection between an existing structure and uh, and whatever else you might place. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stat screen here. Show some impact going on there. Aha! Here we go. Charts. Ooh. There we go. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yep, okay, so that's charts. What's this one? Stats. There we go, that's useful. Right, it would be nice if I could drag this around and pin it somewhere, but uh, no matter. Uh, right, next job with this one, once it's connected up by uh, access tube, is uh, is to actually fill this out so people can use it. Oh, hello, what have we got here? Tables. What? Yeah, it's out of it, it's it's because it's filling with oxygen at the moment. Give it a moment. Uh, what else do they want? Yeah, well, uh, have a drinking fountain. At the moment, I don't, I'm not doing anything clever right now. I'm I'm literally following the same path that the tutorial had. Uh, we're going to need a meal maker. I mean, admittedly, we'll need that bit later. But uh, let's uh, let's get it booked in. Alright, look, I, ooh, casting a casting a nice uh, nighttime glow there. Right now, I'm going to want extra materials, so uh, a water tank stores water for later use. That might not be such a bad idea. Although it has to be said that I do have a tendency when you can uh, store stuff in advance to uh, to lose track. This is something that I learned from Banished was. Uh, that uh, you know, if if you've got a lot of things stored up, there is a tendency for it to run out, and the, the first thing you know that you're out of power or out of wood, as, as it always tended to be with banished, was the when you ran out of wood and your stores ran dry. Magnifico. Okay, so we've got oxygen, we've got water, uh, food. We're not growing it yet, but we have at least got somewhere for people to eat. That's something. And then in a moment we'll have somewhere for people to sleep and we'll be mining more resources, which will mean that we'll need the ability to process those resources. So I need a... Where are we? Oh, it says dead end at the end of it. It says dead end. Ah, oh, good. Right, that's that figured out. So we need a processing plant, which I want to stick out near this mine, if at all possible which makes the, the placement of this hab rather rather foolish. Now I wonder if there's a maximum number of connections you can have coming off things. So I'll just a quick check and make sure that the processing plant's... No, it's not. Don't want the processing plant to be a dead end. So actually, we'll take it off the oxygen generator. In fact, shall we? Do we want to do that? Or shall we take it off the... Let's try... No, it doesn't want to do that. Okay. <clears throat> I suspect the airlock is also a dead end. Yes, it is. There we go. It's a dead end. All right. So once I've got my mine completed and we've got the uh, the, the material processing plant sorted, uh, we can then generate our own stuff. 
Now, one, uh, with one more building created, I'm going to want... Uh, we need to grow some, some, uh, some food stuffs here. So let's put that out here. Hold on, make sure it's not a dead end. No, it's not. The biodome will give this two connections. And you know, and true to form, you know, I'm 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 plopping things through at a at a heck of a rate. Are we are com we we all comfortable with me saying plopping. Um, yeah, I'm I'm placing things at a, at a fair old speed, and as such, there's there'll be a little bit of a delay. What's T mean? It's a dead end. Oh, okay. The T symbol is the dead end symbol. Right. Understood. You're waiting for O2. Well, you're not. You haven't got your corridor up yet. I want to get some more robots on the go. Uh, then we can, uh, we can hopefully expand a little bit faster. Now, I've seen some screenshots of other people having played this. Uh, I've not watched any playthroughs, but I've, I've seen some screens, certainly. And the size of the base you end up with is really quite simple. Uh, and, uh, and I, for one, relish that as a, as a, as a prospect. So we've topped out our power store, and I wonder uh, whether, um, what do I wonder? I wonder whether we're draining at night time, so I'll have, to, I'll have to keep an eye on that when we hit night time again, to see if we're actually draining. But at the moment, we seem to be good. Right, let's put one of those and one of these. That makes the, the green blocks and the uh, survival reached. Ooh, I wonder if that means that uh, I've got to the point of being somewhat self-sustaining. That would be that would be pleasant. Uh, where was I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once I'm once I'm one more step ahead. Once I've got uh, my garden up so that we can actually grow some food, uh, I'll demolish the uh, the landing pod that we used, uh, and then we'll have all of those materials to play with as well. Oh, I wonder. 22% oxygen. Oxygen, 22%. What does that even mean? Generates oxygen for approximate, approximately 20 people. 20% is the is presumably the uh, the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere. Which would be more. And we get a slight dip every time I connect something new while it backfills. Seems to be reasonable. How are we doing here? Water grid consumes 1.25, produces 4.23. Handy. I'm definitely going to put water storage up at some point, but uh, not right now. So, we need to get some, uh, some food up. Now, starchy food... Uh, can be turned into uh, fast production, high maintenance. We'll have some of that. Uh, we're going to want some medicines being made. Uh, we'll have some onions. Again, I am just there. At that. My methodology here is very straightforward. I am following exactly what it did in the tutorial. Um, apparently, we have hit self sufficiency. I'm amazing. Uh, okay, cool, right, good. So there we go, what else did we have? Oh yeah, the other thing that we had in the tutorial was we had, yeah, I'm done with that, uh, we had a medical bay. Where are we? Oh no, and a factory. So you need a factory to build spare parts, because uh, your stuff is apparently quite prone to breaking. Let's build that off there, because that's right next to my uh, my processing plant. So that should allow me to build spare parts, because otherwise you run low on, on bits and pieces, so your, your turbines break down and your solar panels and that kind of stuff. And uh, it's probably cheaper to keep them running than it, uh, and, and under good repair than it is to, uh, to build fresh ones. Let's have a look at this from a, from a slightly different angle and see what we're... There's no tilt. How unusual. I mean, a zoom, but not a lot of tilt. Okay, well, yeah, I'm comfortable with that. All right, and as ever, that looks weird. Right, so I'm going to turn it back around the original way. Uh, R, 
Oh no, that zoom. Q. There we go. All right, where are we? Uh, right, we've got the biodome is, uh, is is building stuff. I need to build. Uh, what am I? I need to build a sick bay in case people get sick. What do you What do you expect? I also need to be very wary of uh, of using up all my connections. Now we'll stick this over here. I mean, I I wouldn't usually stick my hospital wing right next to the canteen, but it's also the closest thing to this uh, uh, this kind of housing pad pod dome. So as such, it would seem like a, a relatively straightforward place to put it. What else have I missed? Have I missed anything else here? We've got another mine, we've got a landing pad. I can stick a landing pad any time I like. Uh, a signpost. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, I want one. It's going to use up another connection. Yeah, but I want it. Look at it, it's brilliant. Is there anything else I can connect to? Yeah, let's put it out here. No, there's got to be a good place for it somewhere. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, I, I don't know what that does, but I want one. Um, so I'll stick it next to the dead end there, since it's just using up space. Okay, right, you're coming up. And I can't I can't build the internal stuff until the corridors have been erected. So uh, I wonder if my if my drones are, uh, are prioritising... Uh, getting, yeah, it looks like they're, they're prioritizing getting the, uh, the, the, the sick bay built. Right, here we go. Alright, so there's my factory, and in here I want to build, ooh, we can build semiconductors, guns. You don't need guns in space. But, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get those working anyway. But, uh, no, but building guns in space makes me uneasy. I did not sign up to fight aliens. Sick bay is done. Let's get a bed in sick bay just in case anybody, you know, accidentally discharges their weapon. Right, let's, get, let's get two. I mean, you know, I can't see them using their guns to shoot down incoming asteroids, for example. Hello, what? You should recycle the colony ship. I will do. Power storage is low. Oh, bum! Okay. Oh, right. Uh, let's turn that off. Where's the off button? Slow down. Everybody slow down. I need to I need to figure out which bits I'm turning off. Structures out of fact. No, don't turn that off. What? Oh, whoa, whatever. No, whatever just happened, don't do that. Give me base management. And it's a windy evening as well. Okay, right, didn't see uh, I see sure seen this coming. Grid. Power. We're using 36 and we're only generating 20. Okay, right, well, that seems to be. We've built the signpost. Fortunately, it decided not to power up the signpost. Oh nice, no, powering everything off. Everybody's gonna hide in the canteen until further notice. Right, get out of the stats menu. Uh, let's uh, let's quickly whiz up. Nobody panic. Everybody remain cut. No, we don't want an airlock. Uh, everybody remain calm. I've got this under control. All right, robots, drop what you're doing. Forget the signpost. Let's get these these chaps up now. The the solar panel should be coming back on. Did anybody die overnight? I'd be, I'd be just a little bit disappointed. Yeah, yeah, I know we're out of power. I'm working on it. Now is not the time to be building a bed in sick bay when we're low on juice. Yes, I know, I know. You can continue telling me. Uh, right, let's uh, let's recycle the colony ship. There we go. So I've recycled the colony ship. That's given me all those supplies. I've got two more of these wind chaps coming up, but wind, as you know, is uh, is unpredictable. Um, and, you know, it looks like 
is that actually giving me a reading on how much sunshine there is or is it at the hour in the day? See, I mean, this is showing me wind strength, which is currently negligible. How jolly helpful. Uh, let's build a, a big solar, a really, really big solar panel out here. Right, what have we got? Well, that's the water extractor. Where's my power storage doodah? Okay, right, we're now generating enough power at least to uh, to support what we've got, but hey, that was that was a, a fun and exciting near miss there. And the sign just says no chance. Well, that'll fill my colonists full of uh, optimism, I'm sure. Uh, right, that's gonna that's gonna almost wrap it up for this first time. Uh, there you go. Let me no 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 turn it back on. Oh, that's how you turn stuff off. Right. Okay, worth knowing. Welcome to No Chance. I ought to rotate so that that's in, in regular view, right? There we go. No chance. Alright, smashing. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up there. So uh, let me know what you think. Shall I continue with this uh, this exciting adventure into uh, into off world colonization? It's the kind of thing I'm happy to do. I Epic and totally pointless symbol of achievement. Well, I, I think we're a little away from doing that. Uh, let's get a water tank up as well. That would seem to be a sensible thing to do. And then we'll also get a. Look, I'm I'm supposed to be saying goodbye. Come on. Let's build a really big one of those. Right. Right. Yeah. There you go. That that'll wrap it up. Would you like to see more? Uh, let me know. You know, the, the only disaster we ran into there was me not paying attention to how much power I was using. Hey, nobody died, though, so that's all good. Uh, uh, leave me a comment, chuck a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and, uh, and I'll catch up with you in the very near future. Yeah, there we go. Everybody's still alive. I've been Colonel Failure. Catch you up very soon. Cheerio. This is...